All right, so the King of California tournament just ended a couple hours ago. I'm gonna make a recap video right now. It was a super fun tournament. Uh, I went undefeated left and right. I won the pro class 235 left and right and uh, faced Paul Stevens, who was really my main opponent in that weight class. Very comfortable wins on both of them. And then in the overall, I went against, on the left, this guy Sergio. Um, guy's like 275 pounds, I believe. He ended up beating me on the left. I made a mistake, and unfortunately, I did lose that match in the, in the left arm overall. I, I was able to pull him in the after pull, and Man, I just was sleeping on the go and I did not execute how I should have in order to win that match. And I was really hoping to win the left arm overall, but uh, this is just more motivation for me to get even stronger in the future. That's the thing about arm wrestling, which is so awesome, is that after one tournament, I'm already looking forward to the next and just progressing and training super hard and getting even stronger because it exposes my weak points every time. And I know for a fact that from one tournament to the next, I'm always chipping away, getting a little bit stronger, um, balancing out my weak points, making them even stronger and overall being much better at arm wrestling. And on the right arm in the overall, I beat Dave Depew. He won the 275 class. And I beat him, and then I went against Brian Leferrier, one of my training partners in Vegas. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to keep my elbow on the pad. I pinned him and with my back pressure, but the elbow barely hopped at the start as I was going. So I ended up losing on fouls. I fouled twice on the with my elbow there. So it's definitely a learning lesson uh, because I, I feel like I certainly was capable of winning both the left and the right overall. But for me, like I said, that's just motivation to get even stronger and make it undeniable and be even more sure of my skills to where it's not a matter of me fouling and it's, it's, just, it's just a concrete victory, a concrete, uh, you know, even the overall class in a tournament like that, I certainly should have got the victory. I'm, I'm super harsh on myself because I know I want to bring out the best in myself as a competitor and always continue to improve, which I have been doing since I started the sport. I've thrown myself into deep water. Like I remember talking to Derek Smith and asking him, give me the strongest guy you've got when there was a practice in Anaheim, like a group practice with a bunch of teams. And he was setting up super matches. And I asked Derek, I was like, give me the strong, give me, you know, give me a super strong guy. Like this is when I lived in Bakersfield and I was like one of the strongest guys there. So I thought, I had never pulled with the Southern California guys. I thought I would just go over there and just be able to, you know, uh, be super strong against them, beat all of them. But it's a matter of humbling yourself, uh, but putting yourself out there to get the experiences and take the losses. Like I've made a video on this recently, how it's important to take the losses and to learn from them and not to shy away from them. Because in terms of improving long-term in the sport, that's what you have to do. So I'm coming away from this tournament super motivated to get even stronger. And I wanna compete as much as possible this year. That's my goal, to really elevate my game in the sport, elevate my level in the sport and take it to that next level because I love this sport. I wanna be doing this for the rest of my life in all honesty. And I'll be able to look back at these videos and just see the the fire, see the motivation in my, in my mindset and really just, uh, see how far I've come basically. Cause even in the past three years, I've come so far from starting the sport, being, I remember being about 240 pounds, 250 pounds at, at about 20 years old, going against Mark Saar. Shout out to Mark, if you see this. He was one of the guys in, in Bakersfield, California, where I used to live, who um, I would arm wrestle with. One of my main training partners there, and he's about 160 pounds. 170 pounds and he would just he would humble me since I when I really really right when I started the sport He would he would humble me He would kind of destroy me and stuff like that And then I finally started getting better to the point where I could beat him, but he's not even in my weight class He's a lighter guy. So it's just that that fire to man. Why am I losing like like I I expect better like now I need to learn like what uh, what are my weak points? How do I get it stronger? And it's just a constant product process in the sport So that's why I love this sport so much. I'm super happy with winning even though the the turnout wasn't incredible there wasn't an insane amount of high level 235 pound guys like i said the main guy was paul stevens in my weight class and felt very comfortable i beat him pretty comfortably at the locked and loaded finals which was two months ago and i beat him very comfortably left and right then same as today i was like i said i was really 
thinking I should be able to win the overall class. I made a mistake against Sergio. I could have won on the left. I, I know I should have won the, the left overall. I should have won the right overall too, but that's just me being super harsh on myself and knowing I can, I can do better and I will do better in the future. So this is motivation to get even stronger. Still came home with two gold medals here, 235 left, 235 right. Champion, King of California. Ooh, that lighting is good. And it's only up from here. So I'm gonna be very consistent with the arm wrestling videos. This is what I love to do. I'm gonna be grinding when it comes to arm wrestling. By that, I mean consistent videos, training, everything related to arm wrestling because I'm gonna make this a profession. As the sport is growing, there are more and more opportunities to make monetary gain out of this and to actually call yourself an athlete because I was actually talking to Martin and Crispin. We had some food after the tournament and we had a great conversation about arm wrestling, about different topics. And one of the topics was kind of how in America, arm wrestlers view arm wrestling as more of like a hobby. They're more hobbyists and like Eastern Europe and other countries, they're are people who consider it as you know their lifestyle, their profession. This is their profession. They're putting everything into the sport, trying to be the best they can and compete at a high level, at a world-class level. And I, I will say in America, uh, it's more of a hobby in, in a lot of areas, but I will say in the Southern California area, there are a lot of very good arm wrestlers to train with who are very serious about the sport, which is fantastic that I live so close that I'm able to come to tournaments such as this or practices in the area and level my game up. So like I said, I'm very hungry, very motivated after this tournament, ready for more. It doesn't stop here. I'm ready to go back to training tomorrow. I mean, I'm ready to arm wrestle tomorrow. I'm ready to get gym training in. Back to the grind, I'm only getting stronger. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate anyone who has supported uh, by leaving a comment, leaving a like, or even just watching my videos. And I added the super thanks section to my YouTube. So if you want to donate, if you want to support me being able to go to more tournaments or travel, I would appreciate that. I may even throw in some type of GoFundMe link or something like that just because uh, just to support me and going to more tournaments, because like I said, I am going to make this a profession in terms of just doing social media and arm wrestling. It's just a matter of time, but I need to put in the work one day at a time to get myself even stronger to where I deserve that high level in the sport, not only competitively, but also uh, through making videos because I'm just so passionate about the sport. So anyways, that was just me kind of rambling on about a lot of topics after talking about the tournament, but I'll, I'll wrap it up here. I'm really excited to get back to more videos. So that's it for today. You're looking at the king of California at 235 pounds right here. Yes, sir. You hear that noise? Cling, cling, cling.